Notion makes it easy to add some flexibility to your workspace's organization into something that makes sense for you. If you're looking for ways to visually separate sections and columns to make things easier to read and understand, Notion allows you to do just that by adding and placing dividers. Here's your guide on how to do it. If you're editing your page from Notion's web editor on Notion.so, position your cursor near where you want your divider. For a horizontal divider, click on the plus icon and select divider. A faster way to do it would be to type slash divider, then select it, or type three hyphens in quick succession. While there's no dedicated vertical divider, if you do need one, you can improvise quickly by clicking on the plus icon and selecting quote, or by typing slash quote and selecting the option that comes up. To lengthen the vertical line, hold shift and tap enter until your line is at your desired length. In either case, once you have your divider ready, just click and drag it into position on your page and make any necessary adjustments. If you're editing your page using Notion's app though, things are a little bit different. Once you've loaded up the page you need to edit, position your cursor near where you want your divider. You'll need to tap the plus icon at the top of the keyboard and select either divider for a horizontal divider or quote for a vertical one. While the three hyphen shortcut still works for horizontal dividers, the slash commands to add in either divider won't work on the app. If you need to adjust the length of any vertical divider you add, you'll need to do so on Notion's desktop site. If you like this guide, make sure you subscribe for all sorts of videos covering Notion and other technology. Don't forget to check out one of these videos we think you might enjoy.